Hi, welcome back to Codeworm. In the previous video, we covered how we can persist user authentication state using Superbase and Flutter. And now we will cover how we can verify user email with Superbase and Flutter in order to make sure that only valid users come to our app with valid emails. But before diving to that, if you haven't subscribed my channel yet, please make sure you like, share and subscribe to my channel. And don't forget to hit that bell icon as well. So now let's move to the Superbase project dashboard that we have here. We are in the authentication and we have this user registered here. So I will delete this user for now. I will tap on it and from here, let's delete this user because I will be needing this email. Our user has been deleted and if we come here to this provider section, here we have the different auth providers. We have enabled this email and if you remember, we just uh, disable this confirm email because we want it to register users directly without email confirmation and now i will enable it and down here i will save it now whenever a user is registered so the user needs to be validated as well so whenever a user registered with an email a verification link will be sent to that email and whenever the, uh, the person taps on that verification link so he will be verified so that's how it will work so I will go back to the app. We have this wrapper here and we implemented the logic here. So if he is a logged in, he moves to the main screen. If he is not logged in, so he moves to a login screen. Currently we are not logged in. If I restart, we are here on the login screen. Um, I need some interface to move to the sign up screen because I'll be registering a user. For that, I will go to the login screen and here I need to add some text below this login button. So here I will uh, add a size box to give a bit spacing and that will be 10 pixels and below I will use a row that will be having children we will add two text like don't have an account and the other will be text for sign up it will be a button that will take us to the login screen so here I will add an inkwell that will detect any tap on this text and whenever this is tapped this function or event handler is called so when it is called we would like to navigate using the navigator to sign up screen here i need to add material page route then this builder will return the sign up screen so it will handle the navigation logic for us so you can see we have this button let's align these things in the center Sorry, it will be right here. It will be main axis alignment. And let's set this main axis alignment to center. And now it looks good. You can see this sign up here. When I tap on it, I've been moved to a sign up screen. So navigation has been added. Now I would like to register a user here with the same email that we registered earlier. That will be email.com. Let's remove this comma from here. Add a password here, like Khan1345 six and when i tap on sign up so the user will be registered but it will be in waiting state as the email needs to be verified so let's sign up and here we will have something showing here you can see user registered success but if we look at superbase here we need to refresh it we have a user being added here and it says waiting for verification so an email has been received as you may have heard the sound. So uh, let's verify that email using the email sent to my Gmail. You can see we have an email here for Superbase authentication. So I will open the email. Here we have this email sent from Superbase for email confirmation. So if I tap on this confirm your email and it will confirm my email, right? So it just so this site can be read, but our email has been verified. Let's check it out. Now, if we look at the status here, it says waiting for verification. But if I refresh it, this waiting for verification will be gone because we have confirmed using the link that was sent to us by Superbase. And you can see our registration is successful. So that's how we verify email. But if we come down here and you can see we are still on the sign up screen. So we need to manage that as well. So let's understand the wrapper a bit more in detail. Uh, we have this main screen 
here we have this wrapper so it checks for a session if we have the session so we move to the main screen as it is logged in if not go to a login screen because we don't have any session here so we are managing navigation between this main screen and login screen but the sign up screen hasn't been handled here and how we move to the sign up screen we go to the login screen and from the login we move to sign up screen right so we need to come back to this login screen as this login screen is on the wrapper here so when the user is successfully registered on the sign up screen from here we need to go back to the login screen because login screen is here on the wrapper and the navigation to main screen will only work when we come back to the login screen right so we need to come back to login screen and we will be automatically directed to main screen in case of sign up as well so that's how this wrapper will work the login automatically redirects to the main screen because this logic is being handled here and this function is called again but for sign up we need to come back to this login screen and then the wrapper will work and the session will be not equal to null and we will go to the main screen in case of sign up so that's what we need to handle so i will go back to the sign up screen and from here i need to use the navigator dot pop so that i i go one step back and whenever i go one step back so we have the login screen and it is here on the uh, wrapper and the logic for navigation works for login screen so in case of sign up we will also be navigated to the home screen so now i will remove remove this user again so delete user from here you can see our user has been deleted and now let's register user again from the app i will tap on sign up to test if navigation works properly so well we have been navigated to a login screen here um, as per the set functionality but from the login with sign up the superbase doesn't log in the user as well which means when you sign up for the first time then you need to log in in order to access the main screen or access the app so it doesn't handle this just like firebase with firebase with the sign up you are also logged in so it's something different here so that's why we are still here on the login screen and because our session is equal to null so now i have received an email again let me verify it i won't be showing it to you because i've already shown uh, once to you so i will just directly verify the user and i will tap on confirm email and user confirmed let's refresh to see if the user has been verified or not so let's wait for it and you can see here we we it is not showing that waiting for email verification because we verified the email as well and we registered and then we came here to a dashboard so it was already handled so with email verification we have registered our user and we are now in the login screen we haven't been directed to a main screen because with sign up the user is not automatically logged in you need to log log in the user as well so i am on the login screen and now if i log in so i a session will be created and i will be navigated to the main screen here now let's add the credentials and i will add the password here and let's log in i will be navigated to the main screen and it is the whole flow with email verification for sign up and login with log out i will be logged out and the user authentication state is already persisted now there is one more thing to be handled you can see we are, are registered and valid users here because our email has been confirmed but whatever an unconfirmed email user tries to log in so what happens so this will throw an error superbase will throw an error we need to handle that so for that let's delete this user again and i will register it again from the app so the user email will won't be confirmed because we will be leaving it and we will try to log in so we will test that scenario so firebase will return some error for that case i have deleted the user and from the app i will again register a user so i will go to sign up and here 
I will enter the credentials and then the password as well and then the user will be created but I won't confirm the email to test the scenario for an unverified email or user login so here if I refresh the user will be registered I have received the email confirmation but I won't be confirm confirming it now to test the case and uh, our user will show here and you can see it's waiting for verification now it's waiting for verification what if I try to log in so Superbase will give us some error so let's try it out and here I will enter the email password and login so let's see what happens you can see we have some error returned by Superbase here it says email not confirmed so uh, an unconfirmed email cannot log in so for that we need to handle this error so we will go to the login screen and again here and we haven't handled the error cases here so I will just edit in a try catch block here and inside this try block I will add the code and here in place of cage I will use the own auth exception I will try to catch the error and then I will need to show something or uh, print something so I will catch the error whenever this is auth exception from superbase then I will log this error and that will be e dot message this is the message sent with error from superbase so I will just log it to the screen you can also show a snack bar uh, here that will uh, that will be showing the same error so that the user gets to know that his email is not confirmed so he first confirms the email and then come back and login so now if I try it again let's see what happens I have entered login and down below you can see we have email not confirmed so we are not seeing this exception here but instead we are just seeing the email error message here so we can also show a snack bar to user whenever the snack bar appears here and it says email not confirmed so the user will be able to take a decision and he will check his email and whenever he verifies his email confirms the email then he can log in so now I will confirm the email I won't be showing it again so from here confirm your email and now my email has been confirmed let's wait for it to be refreshed you can see it's good to go now now uh, let's try it again and login we have been navigated to the main screen and our login was successful so we have successfully uh, covered email verification with superbase authentication as well one more thing to discuss here is that uh, if you come to the dashboard here you can see here set up a custom SMTP provider to handle flows like password reset which requires sending emails to any user and here we have the button set up custom SMTP now if you remember when we confirmed our email that I showed you on my phone so whenever the email confirmation was completed a page was shown that was saying not found in localhost something like that it was because we haven't set up our own custom SMTP server SMTP server is a simple mail transfer protocol server that is used to send emails to users so Superbase provides a limit on how much emails you can send to the users so once the limit is reached, we can send the emails so that's why it says you should set up your own custom SMTP server so whenever you set up your own server so it will be handled by your server not Superbase and everything will be fine and smooth and that error won't be showing there you can set up your own page whenever the email confirm is successfully done so from here we tap on the setup custom SMTP and down here we have this enable custom SMTP and here we need to provide details of our server we can set up this server either locally or we can also set up that server from different service providers that are available on the internet so once you set up your SMTP server just provide the details here and Superbase will utilize your server to send emails and everything be working fine so uh, that is 
uh, all about the SMTP server that you should set up for production. So that's it for today's videos, guys. I think we had enough. In the upcoming videos, I'll be covering some more interesting topics related to Superbase and Flutter. So stay tuned and make sure to watch the next video. See you in the next video. Goodbye.